So let's take a look at our Jersey Square team as an example and see how they came up with their value proposition. Now, what's interesting is if you remember, a value proposition describes uh, not only the features, but also the pains and gains that they see that they'd actually create for the customer and that the goal is to figure out what the MVP is. And if we see the Jersey Square team, they actually did a pretty good job talking about pains and gains, a cheaper way to wear officially licensed sports jerseys to a game, to eliminate the risk of owning a player's jersey who's going to be traded, or to provide an alternative to purchasing counterfeit jerseys. Pretty good for pains and gains. But what they forgot to describe is what are the features. And just so we could remember the features for Jersey Squares, they were going to provide a single place where you could rent sports jerseys so you wouldn't have to own them and maintain them to visit your favorite team. Uh, and what they also missed is what was the MVP or minimum viable product of what they were going to build. And in their case, it was going to be a website with uh, rental and, and uh, stock of jerseys of the most popular teams at first in the New York area and then nationally in the United States and then ultimately internationally. Uh, so those were kind of missing, but again, starting with pains and gains was pretty good for their value proposition. Notice, by the way, while they were working on value proposition, uh, they also had some hypotheses about the customer segments. And this is a key idea is value proposition and customer segments are the first two things you tend to work on with a business model canvas because these two have a special name called product market fit. And product market fit just simply says what is the match between what you're building and what customers need and want and who are those customers. So while the goal and value prop is to figure out the MVP, as we'll see later, the goal and customer segments is to figure out who and what the archetype of the customer is. Uh, so again, you could start either with customer segments or you could start with a product and value prop itself. It really doesn't matter. But most teams, um, if they're technology driven, tend to start on value prop. And most teams, if they happen to be marketeers or business people, happen to start with the customer segments. There's no right place, but it's the interaction between these two.